guys, let's get started. Now, you guys know that every week I do Word of the Day Wednesdays. I am behind clearly a day because I'm dealing with some health stuff. Um, so I'm getting caught up on that. But I still want to honor our Word of the Day Wednesdays. So this is Word of the Day Thursdays. I am author Nicole D. Miller. And here is my debut novel, When Love Wins. When Love Wins is an urban Christian fiction story of two young women with a rift in their relationship when Natalie, the faith-based social justice advocate writer, loses her mom, she moves in with her cousin Ashley and her uncle for grief support. Instead of a warm welcome, she gets an icy cold one from Ashley, who is the urban socialite fashionista, and it turns out she's jealous because her ex is still Natalie. But there is more to the story. So this book, it talks about mental health in the black community. It talks about friendship, sisterhood, parent absenteeism, grief recovery, and the list goes on and on. Childhood trauma, bullying, um, but it definitely has African-American contemporary urban uh, culture, language, music, media influences. So you can learn more at When Love Wins That Love. All right, let's get started. So last week, or this week I should say, my blog, Black Girls in Paris, uh, I released the final blog in this trilogy. So this is part trois, which for those of you who are French speaking means part three. And so in the final blog post for this series, I was able to share just the amazing experience I had with the Ricky Stevenson Black Paris tour in Paris. It was just eye-opening, it was refreshing, it was exactly what I needed and my good friend um, who was with me needed because in all of the beautiful experiences we had in Paris, what was lacking for us was seeing us. <laughs> we were not seeing, you know, black people in the city of Paris. And so taking this tour, I got to find out why. So what I learned was a lot of us live in the suburbs and in Paris, a lot of the more wealthier people live in the city, which is opposite of what I experienced here in the States or in Cleveland in particular. So that was that, but they have their uh, little pockets too. So Paris is like divided in a sense like New York is where there's all these little communities. And so we stumble upon little Africa. And actually, I wish I should have, I should have posted this picture. There was a particular restaurant that we ate at and I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in the comments of this uh, live and post it because I really want to shout out this restaurant. But the food was amazing. They're African. Um, they were amazing. And they were located in Little Africa, which is where we actually ended the tour. But I didn't get to cover that in the blog because there's just too much to cover. But overall, in the blog, I basically just pay homage and give credit to those who went before. Um, there was a particular woman that we learned about. Her name was Solitaire. And she was honored in the Garden of Solitaire, Jardin, Sol Jardin Solitaire. And uh, basically, she was a freedom fighter. She was of mixed race and born into slavery, but got free. And then she was carrying a child. So while she was with child, she was fighting against slavery under Napoleon's rule. He was trying to bring back, back slavery. And this was in Guada, uh, Guadalupe. And so the thing is, in um, Paris, they honored uh, Black Americans. And we learned about that, how well receiving they were Black Americans. We all know the Josephine Baker story. However, they had their own history of slavery, their own history of oppression, and so we got to learn more about their fight for freedom, where they were at, and just what it opened my understanding up to was that Black people have been resilient um, and vigilant and, you know, experienced immense uh, overcoming of oppression on our soil, but it's like not just limited to our soil, this is like worldwide. And I'm sorry I moved my hair because it's hot. <laughs> Even though I'm in the basement, I'm like, it is hot down here. So, um, but yeah, so just so encouraging to learn more about her and some of the other greats that were in Paris. If you guys are interested in a little history, check out the full series, Black Girls in Paris. Um, I definitely include some, some really dope pictures that, you know, you can find out about more of these heroes, sheroes, and heroes that um, paved the way for the opportunities that we have today. 
and special shout out to the Ricky Stevenson Black Paris store. So if you're ever going to Paris, check them out. All right, you can learn more of the read more of the blog at NicoleDMiller.com. I do not have any upcoming events, you guys. I alluded to my health challenges um, earlier in this live, and I'm gonna be out of commission for a little bit. You will not see me out and about, um, popping around. I'm gonna keep it low key so I can really heal and learn from some past situations where I did not stay low key and I made my injuries worse. So I'm definitely gonna be low key, but I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff like online. There's some opportunities that I'm looking into with the book and some things I wanna do as far as my writing career. So stay tuned for more and make sure you sign up for my newsletter and my blog at NicoleDMiller.com. You guys have a good day and I will see you next week.